Infectious pancreatic necrosis, IPN virus, is also of economic significance to the trout industry. It is seen primarily in the eastern United States and less commonly in western states. However, IPN virus was a serious pathogen in western trout producing states during the 1970s and early 1980s. IPN affects mostly trout fry and fingerlings less than six months of age and seems to strike first in the fastest growing and most healthy appearing fish of the group. It can be transmitted from broodfish carriers to their embryos inside eggs and therefore cannot be eradicated by external disinfection of the eggs. The disease is also spread horizontally among fish through the water. The skin is often dark and sometimes has dark banding in various areas such as a dark tail or head or a dark tail and head with other skin surfaces pale in color. Trout infected with IPN can be observed spiraling rapidly on their long axis and then suddenly becoming very still. They also exhibit Popeye or exophthalmia, which is compared with normal eyes in the fish on the right. IPN also produces a distended abdomen due to clear yellow fluid in the body cavity or from a fluid-filled stomach. The gills, spleen, liver, and kidneys are sometimes very pale. As with virus diseases in general, there are no treatments available for IHN or IPN. However, mortalities can be reduced by minimizing stress on the trout. The most effective control of viral diseases is prevention through selection of eggs from specific pathogen-free stocks, providing good nutrition, maintaining good water quality, maintaining a fish-free water source, and excluding vectors or carriers of virus such as fish-eating birds.